lot of people who have stroke feel a loss of the sense of self. They don't really know how they fit into society in their own communities. They can feel quite lost. Hi, I'm Elisa Artisero. I am the overall curator of the Stroke Art Science Project. I'm also one of the workshop leaders for the art section. Last week, the American ladies asked what you thought of your stroke, and I said I felt like Alice going down the rabbit hole. Yeah. There's a certain goodness about actually articulating something that you're upset about. But coming to the club today, on reflection, it's more like the Mad Hatter's Tea <laughs> <laughs> The collage workshop, by taking found images, you can cut them out and you can start to arrange them in a way that might express a feeling that you otherwise wouldn't in, in another form. I mean, looking at that, you'd think I was angry. Because it just says rage, sadness, fear, disgust, anger. But I'm not angry, it's just pictures I've seen in a thing and I think bringing it all together <laughs> does bring out a bit of what is in me. Because when you have a stroke you're angry because you can't do what you wanted to do before. Engaging with techniques like this, it just opens them up to explore those emotions, to really focus in on what they're thinking about and, and how to cope with that. The journey now is, has moved not from my selfish journey of not greed and avarice but ambition and wanting to do more and do everything to, to understanding now more of what makes me tick and it's stuff like this that's helped me understand that. That helps me then to understand why I no longer can do what I used to do before. All of the participants have got talents that they didn't know that they had. And I've almost done it as a bit of a hostage letter, where it's like, we have your brain, one million pounds. And that's how I sort of felt very much. I was like, I had no control, really. I had a, a huge level of guilt until actually I, I raised it in this group. And it was almost, I think it was Peter said to us, yes, it's almost like a survivor's guilt, you know, like if you're in a war and all your friends are killed. Once they've got together and they've got used to one another, they really do want to share. She's into this one slide, which is a new slide, it's in the park in Staley Bridge, which she really likes. She must have done that about ten times. I've been working with trying to get people to draw on old memories, good and bad, uh, but also through that process to create sort of a new collective memory together. So I feel that these workshops are helping to find and forge a new way of, of life and thinking and that does seem to be what's happening.